What I would like for you to do now is I'd like for you to select some portion of your breathing that currently grabs your attention. It could be the sensation of the breath going through your nostrils. It could be the feeling of your chest rising and falling or your belly expanding and contracting. It could be the sense of it coming down your throat or the back of your, or the back of your nose where the air is pulling in. It could just be the sound of your own breathing. I don't care what you choose. Choose something that when you breathe normally, don't try and regulate your breathing, just let your breathing happen. Just some portion of your act of breathing that it's easy for you to attend to. Once you have that, I'd like you to close your eyes and just count 10 iterations of that. In other words, 10 examples of that particular sensation occurring and then come on back. So when you've collected 10 breaths in whatever way you attended to it, just open your eyes so I know we can continue. And 10 is all we need. Now, let me ask you a couple of questions here. First of all, who lost track of their numbering? Hands up. It's fine. Do you know what that tells you? You don't start with 10, you start with five, or four, or even one. If you're having a really bad day, one breath. Okay, I've done that, I've succeeded now. Right? You have anything to keep you out of the anxiety level. Now here's the interesting part, right? Believe it or not, uh, you, that, that exercise lasted not quite a minute, it was less than a minute, but it was, I didn't keep track of time, but it was at least 30 seconds, it was getting towards that minute mark, although it wasn't quite as long as the other one. Now let's show this, this a second. Those of you who lost count, wherever you lost count at, that's your new number, right? For those of you who didn't lose count, 10 is still your current number, all right? Do it again. Whenever you achieve whatever number you set out to achieve, don't worry about going forwards from that. Just bring yourself back with your eyes open so we can discuss that a little bit. So let me ask a couple of questions. There's a few of you still finishing up. That's, that's fine, I'll, I'll work with the rest of you for now. Let me ask you a couple of questions about your experiences. First of all, who found those two particular breathing exercises easy to do? Hands up. Importantly, who found those particular exercises interesting, fun, engaging, somehow pleasant to do? Hands up, right? If you didn't find them pleasant, chances are it's because you were bored and that's because well, you were bored or stressed, which basically means you simplify the task or complicate the task, depending on where you're at. It does not matter what I do. What matters is what works for you. You understand the rules now, do you not? So you can do this. Now here's the cool thing. Do you recall all the way back at the beginning of this session, you did a one minute breathing exercise? And it was, would it be fair to say it was relatively difficult to do? Would that be fair to say, hands up? Yeah? And this one was easy to do, would that be fair to say? Yes? You did more than a minute you just did more than a minute, you just did two goes of it, right? If you have a heavy, a heavy case to bring up the stairs and you can't lift it, what do you do? You empty it and you go twice or three times because you're not strong enough to do it once. So if you go to some meditation retreat and this guy's been doing it for 20 years and is obviously very good at it, why on earth would you try and do it his way? His mental muscle for that kind of attention is so much more well developed than yours is. It's, 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 I'm not saying it's futile, but it's a very painful way of doing it. And the chances that you will continue that practice is very low because it's got a built-in punishment as opposed to a built-in reward. Who here feels rewarded by that practice, by the way? You just did it now. Is that nice? You had the same minute, by the way. You just did it in your pace, in your rate. And who here thinks the chances of you doing a minute of mindfulness breathing like that, so into two little parts that are easy for you to do, 
is something you're more likely to do for the rest of your life than the first thing we did today, which was that one minute, which is essentially the same time, actually shorter, but all in one go, and the experience you had as a result of that. Which of you things you're more likely to do for the rest of your life this way, right? Because you have built-in motivation now, because that flow state automatically rewards you for the task that you're doing. You haven't exceeded the skill level required of you. Does that make sense to you guys? So over to you guys. Let's have some questions and comments or, uh, or uh, experiences that we can talk about a little bit. So stand up so we can find the, uh, the mic and find you more easily. Stand up.